How's it going guys? Chris back here again with another Historic Brawl video. Today we're checking out a commander that we've seen on the channel before, but who, uh, who's who gotten some interesting interesting cards in the latest few sets. So we decided to go back to him, and that is Old Stick Fingers. The Old Stick Fingers is one of the funnest cards to just say out loud. Uh, he's got some power to him too, right? Like... He will always mill, mill X creatures, which is kind of nice. Yeah, we'll keep seven. Shadow Sphere. Looks like you're an Assassin's Trophy. Uh, cancel. Yeah, we'll wait and see what they do. Because they just slam AR. They can't equip it. Glad this is a woodland cemetery and not the uh not the other one. Can activate your shadow sphere? You could. It's a viable option. It is illegal play within this game of Magic the Gathering. And this gets us up to uh Death Sprout next turn. So that when they replay Ara. You can just continuously make them sad. Unless they get a land. Like, if they had a land. <laughs> yeah, one of the new, um... Excuse me. One of the new, uh, hmm. I think we timeless witness back the assassin's trophy and kill the boots. And then we can Garrick or Pelucranos next turn. To uh, solve the issue of Juni the Midnight Sky. It's like we have Nissa. We can uh, we can stick fingers for a lot. We just need to make the board safe first. Root. I kind of hope that's all they do. If they equip Shadow Sphere, that's all they're going to be doing. Because then we can play Garrick in safety. And uh, a Garrick in safety? Actually, we can play Nyssa into Garrick in safety. Which is just insane. Discard? Yeah. So next time we can stick fingers for a bunch. Make some blockers. AR is back. But she's not really a threat. Yeah, we just Pelucranos her down. Yeah. 
Then we uh, sacrifice the dog. Wolf, technically. Uh, untap me and Nessa. Green. Green, green. So we can play him for five. Yeah, so the ideal of the deck is that we can just play a bunch of unearth and uh, escape creatures. And then Old Stick Fingers is basically just drawing his cards, right? That's the ideal. I kind of like it, but I don't know if it's going to be effective. The issue. Ayara still can come down, right? Oh, that doesn't scare me. Sacrifice creature. Okay. I'm going to sacrifice this wolf. I'll put a loyalty on my Garrick Planeswalker. Which will uh, make it have four loyalty. Mm -hmm. Moldervine Reclamation. Uh huh. And then let's untap a land. Shieldred. Prevent that from being an issue. Second main phase. Let's make some mana. The creature that was going to die anyways. Um, we can use that mana. To es can't escape it. Okay, well, we'll just do that. And we'll call it there. Resolve. I, I suspected that they might have some reanimation. Uh, can't do anything about that, unfortunately. Hmm. So let's see. Fight Juni. So if they go for the discard, we don't really care. We go down to one. We're basically just going to fight all their creatures and win. We should have fought the Midnight Rider first, but... It shouldn't matter. Like, they lose three life from the three creatures that they lose, kill. Three creatures that are on the battlefield that died. And, uh, then we have at least a five power creature to attack in with. Plus, Pernuclonops would have ended up in the graveyard, too, so... Technically, our old stick fingers would have been boosted to six. Uh, and they should have had five, right? Plus, we had the two lands. This is a bad hand. Uh, I kind of want something more aggressive. This isn't aggressive, but I'll take it. Swing Broom Druid kind of fixes us up a bit. So we're up against a Jetmere deck, and a Jetmere deck is probably fast enough to kill us before we can actually get to our shenanigans. Without any Dark Souls to record, um, it makes the magic sessions a little bit more chill. Not that they weren't chill. They definitely were chill, but... Now you just get that added... Uh, I 
guess added like focus kind of chill to it. I think I want to play Guardian Project because they are drawing more cards than me and I don't like it. They're also a little low on mana. Hmm. So do I actually get the jet mirrors? I think I, I think I, so taking a turn off for Guardian Project is a little bit rough. We're gonna draw cards with our, um, with our commander anyways. Pseudo card draw with our commander, but it's still kind of card draw. This prevents the Beast Whisperer from, uh, going to ham on us. Man, like, I don't know if they were at if Withers was at a point in the development cycle where they were preparing for Commander or designing with Commander in mind. I'll take that one, actually, because I can uh, just get rid of that before it becomes an issue. Yeah, I don't know if they had that in mind when Guardian Project was in its development cycle, but it basically says whenever you play a creature in Commander, draw a card. And for four mana, that's that's a decent effect. So I don't think I'm going to pay for, uh, oh, never mind. Smothering Tide does nothing. It's a garbage card. You heard it here first. There's tapped. So this is actually a replacement effect, which means this will never trigger, <laughs> which is uh, slightly hilarious. Uh, I think I want that. Underrealm Lynch, the answer to uh, some othering ties that uh, Commander needed. We just didn't know it already existed. I kind of want to draw a land, because if I draw a land, I can uh, Timeless Witness get back Binding of the Old Gods. You gonna do it? I wouldn't, but okay. Because this is, uh, for life I'm willing to spend. So this is tempting, but it, it just kills our creatures and does nothing. I think Great Hinge is better. Hmm. So Binding of the Old Gods comes back. Uh, blood Money? And then we make some wolves. Yeah, I am. Uh, I am scared of Jetmir. Like he is a commander that uh, I have learned to have a good amount of respect for. Root. Gonna make a lot of treasures next turn though. Have you considered that opponent? I don't think they have. I 
You're going to do it? The thing about whether or not they should swing it here. From our perspective, it's very obvious that they should. This kind of ruins our blood money. What are we going to do? Uh, yeah, I guess we auto pay, right? Because we can just kill Jetmir. by Smothering Tithe. You won't be missed. And then we'll end her off there. Cabal Stronghold might have been ambitious. It's Peer into the Abyss. I love it. Uh, one mana. Draw 33 cards. <laughs> Very good. Um, this is only going to get us one treasure. And it's tapped. Guess we make some wolves in case there's some haste. Even though they're tapped. Yeah, but I think our, our game plan now is to just bully our opponent into submission. Which is kind of what the deck's about, if I'm being honest. I do love to cost this welcome, though. Like, everything that's happening over on that side of the battlefield, I... I do love. It is beautiful. Hmm. I don't know if I have enough mana for this. Let's fight Jenny Fay. Then let's fight Jenny Fay's dog. Then let's make a couple wolves. Like our opponent is gaining a lot of life. Let's get rid of Jenny Fay permanently. We will eventually. Uh, yeah, well, we gave them a lot of life. We need to make sure that they don't have anything. Like, if they have a haste creature, we're, we're dead anyways, right? Ancient Gold Dragon. I think our opponent might believe they can crawl their way back in, and in all honesty, with my ineptitude, they very well may, but... Yeah, we got there in the end, though. So that was our game two, right? So we got one more. Honestly, when I was playtesting this game, because I, I built this deck while I was playing Dark Souls um, during that period of time, I just chose to, uh, I basically built four decks and I decided that out of the four decks, this one was the weakest so that I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna show it off, but 
I finished Dark Souls. I went back and revisited it. I made sure that there were some competency in the deck building. And I thought, you know what? This is actually okay. Um, despite its questionable record, we gave it a shot, and I think it's doing okay. Like, Stick Fingers is a uniquely cool commander, though, right? Like, reveal X creatures. So he always gets creatures in the bin, right? And if you have creatures that care about being in the graveyard, that's unique. Um, and I think that's what makes it cool. a commander decent, right? Dude, Chattering Augur. He's been on the screen the whole time. I do love the dude. Look at him. He's got antlers. He's got like a gold necklace. A bunch of candles. A crow. Like, dude, Ooze is cool. And he can't die, so... That is a plus. He also can't block. But I mean, look at him. He's full of holes. How could he block? Doesn't make much sense, does it? Morbid Opportunist. Another very good card. Dude, we have hit the card draw jackpot. If our Arcadia's opponent does not put down a wall, we'll be good. Like, I hope they get down a wall and Arcady, so that way we can, um, it's not a wall. Darn it. I was hoping for a wall, but. I will take a non-wall that doesn't kill my creatures. Hey, there's a land. I need another black land. I need three more black lands. Hmm. So Morbid Opportunist dies here, right? We do get two cards out of it. Our Trains of Sorrows is actually kind of sweet. Because near the battlefield, it kills the Ornithopter. Although, if our opponent does not draw more lands, they will not be playing much magic. And if they don't play much magic, we don't get to show off our power. So, uh, those are bad things that have happened. And this is one-sided, too. Creatures your opponent control. So, we're not going to nuke our own board to make this happen. I forgot you're a skeleton. Yeah, you have to attack every turn. We need one more land. Why can't they block? No, they're just not defenders, okay. Oh, you're not a defender, so you don't deal damage equal to not your power. I get it. Our opponent is Trixie. Like, they got the strats. We could take a bunch of wall damage here. I guess, um... It's a shame Arcades isn't a defender himself. But then it would be a little bit weird mechanically, right, to have a card that is a defender that removes defender from your creatures. But then he would deal 5 damage instead of 3, which I don't think would be overpowered, honestly. Yeah, I'll, I will block a 4-4. Four four. I'm, I'm taking... Taking 8, but... Uh... That toughness boost actually just kind of, kind of, it just shreds us, unfortunately. Now 
now there's no easy blocking. And more skeletons come about. We are just so close to being dead, though. Hmm. Yeah, they keep everything. And I guess we keep our, uh, our blocker. We take 10, get rid of a, a, a wall. And no tower defense. GG. I still think the deck is kind of cool. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time around. Bye for now.